Hi everyone, Brittany here from Elise 10 Designs. I recently got to wear my restored grandmother's wedding dress for a special photo shoot um, for my dressmaking business and it was by Hattie Root Photography so I'd like to thank her for taking those photos and they turned out beautifully. But I thought I would do a video on properly archiving and storing a wedding dress. It doesn't have to be a vintage one. It could be your own wedding dress. And it is something you should think about um, when you plan on purchasing one and how you're going to store it for the rest of your life if you plan to. First thing you want to do is clean your dress any way that you choose that's safe and gentle. Um, if it's a newer dress, uh, a dry cleaner would do just fine. Make sure they specialize in bridal though. Um, for mine, uh, since it's so delicate, um, I just spot cleaned it with uh, spraying it with some mild detergent and uh, using a damp cloth to soak the areas um, that are the usual suspects for odor and stains like the underarms and the neckline. So I dabbed that a little bit and give it the tried and true smell test. Make sure to dry the dress for a full 24 hours so that it's completely dry. Now for the boxing, you will want to purchase a proper archival box meant for long-term protective storage of these types of treasured keepsakes. I purchased mine at the container store for about $35 US. Um, I've kept it for a while, so um, it comes with these acid-free tissue papers. So you want to set up the box, take the first sheet of tissue paper, and place it inside the box as carefully as you can. Um, without ripping it, that's what I was trying to do very carefully. So once you've got that all nice and flat, you want to grab your dress and place it bodice in the center of the box first. Um, if you have a floor-length gown with a train or a ball gown, you'd want to place the center of the dress in the box first and then you would fold over the bodice and then followed by the skirt. I'm taking some tissue paper now to stuff inside the bodice. Uh, not really necessary on this dress, but if you had a dress that had some shaping like boning and you don't want it to be squished when the whole weight of the dress is folded over, it's good to do that so it holds its shape for a long period of time. Now you want to take some of that extra tissue paper that is around the edges and fold it over so that uh, no part of the dress is actually touching the box, it's all surrounded by tissue paper. Take your second sheet of tissue and make a nice folded piece that you will put right in the center of the box covering that layer of dress. You want pretty much each fold you do, you want a tissue paper in the middle so that the dress is completely um, protected. So now I'm tidying up the last layer of tulle going on top of the skirt. So nicely folded, separated by that layer of tissue, um, straightening out the tool a little bit some more, making sure that tissue paper is surrounding the whole dress. Um, it makes it easier to grab later on when you're putting on the top layer of tissue. top layer of tissue you want to open it up and sort of like the first layer but um, grabbing that tissue layer that's at the bottom 
kind of want to grab it and lift it up so that you can get the top layer of tissue underneath and in sort of enveloping the whole dress and uh, shielding it from uh, any outside elements. Do this all the way around the box, all four sides. So there you have a properly archived wedding dress that is going to stay beautiful for years and years to come. Just make sure you store it somewhere that is not an attic or a basement that doesn't have any harsh environmental issues. Um, and take it out every once in a while to see if there's any creasing or stains. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out my other videos, especially the vintage series. I had a lot of fun making it. And remember to subscribe as well.